In this video we are going to talk about an expert advisor that can tell you if you should buy or sell based on the Bollinger Bands indicator. The Bollinger Bands indicator has three bands. This is the lower band, this is the middle band and this is the upper band and whenever a candle closes above the upper band and re-enters into the bands, this is a signal for a sell trade. In the other case, when the candle closes below the lower band and you see a re-entry from below, this is a buy signal. Usually you won't see the Bollinger Bands in your backtesting and to change this you can insert the Bollinger Bands indicator we are going to use a period of 20 candles and a deviations value of 2 because that is the standard when you click reset. Now click on OK. I will change the properties here because I like the bands to have a red color. Now I right click into the chart, click on template, save template and I will call this one Bollinger Bands TPL. TPL stands for template. Now let's save this. And when you start a new backtest, you simply need to right click the chart, select template, Bollinger Bands, and here we are. And now we are going to create an expert advisor that can calculate Bollinger Bands entry signals. To do that, please click on the little button here or press F4 in your MetaTrader. And now you should see the meta editor and here you want to click on file, new, expert advisor from template, continue. I will call this one simple Bollinger Bands, continue, continue and finish. And now you can delete everything above the on tick function and the two command lines here. Now let's create an empty string for the signal. I will call it signal and it has no value here. And to calculate the lower Bollinger Band, we use the function iBands. iBands is a built-in function of MQL4 and it takes a few parameters. The first one is underscore symbol. That's the symbol on the chart. The second parameter is underscore period. That's the currently selected period on the chart, like the minute or the hour chart. We will use 20 candles and a deviation of 2, because that is what you see when you click on the Bollinger Bands properties. Period 20 candles, deviations 2. We have no shift and we apply it on the close price. So the parameter for the shift is 0. And we use price underscore close for the close price. And because this is the lower Bollinger Band, we use mode underscore lower. And it will be calculated for candle 1. To calculate the upper Bollinger Band, you basically do the same. But this time we use mode underscore upper. Everything else is like in this line. Candle 1 is the candle before the current candle. Now when this candle isn't finished, this would be candle 1 and this would be candle 2. And to calculate the value for candle 2, we repeat those two lines here. And now the only thing we need to change in the two new lines is the last parameter for candle 2. Let's calculate a buy signal. Now if the ask price is above the close price of the last candle, that's candle 1. And if the close price for candle 2 was below the lower band, that's close 2 is below the value of the previous lower Bollinger Band. And if the close price for candle 1 is above the lower band, so that's close 1 is greater than lower Bollinger Band, that would be a signal to buy. In the other case, if the price is below the last close, so if bit 
is below close 1 and if close 2 was above the upper band, so close 2 is above previous upper Bollinger band and close 1 is below the upper band, so the close price for candle 1 is now below the upper Bollinger band. That would be a crossing like here and that would be a sell signal. So we assign the word sell to our signal and in the last step we want to create a chart output. So we use the command function from MQL5 to output the word signal followed by the signal in the upper left corner of the chart. So whenever we see a re-entry here it will tell us that we have to buy and when the price was above the upper band and we have a re-entry it will tell us that we have a signal to sell. Okay, if you have done everything right you now can click on the compile button or press F7 on your keyboard and you should see no errors and no warnings here and if that is the case please click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you want to click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R and that will show the Strategy Tester panel here and there you want to select the simple Bollinger Bands.ex4 file. Please make sure to enable the visual mode here and click on Start. And now you should see something like this. Let's do a right click and load the Bollinger Bands template we created. You can also switch to the candle view. And here is our little expert advisor at work. And it will create buy or sell signals right on your chart. Now you know how to create an expert advisor for Bollinger Band signals. And you have done it yourself with a few lines of MQL4 code.